Hello everyone, what is up? This is Stuart98, and welcome back to another Aramac 1v1 cast. This is a game sent in by Makuo on duel between the red player in the upper left corner, Arafai, in a Husky, I think that's a Samson Osprey, yeah, Samson Osprey, and Attila, blue player in the bottom right corner, in a Samson Osprey. So Samson, Samson, on duel, Arafai is turtles, interestingly enough. Um, openers, RFI going for the anti-goalie, Attila a little bit behind in, just going directly to mid, skipping the Goliath. So that's a little interesting. How is RFI at higher up? Oh, heavy mines. Okay, so RFI has set down a bunch of heavy mines to begin with, whereas Attila stationed some creeps in this outpost. At least I'm going to assume that's what he's doing. Um, Attila setting off his opponent's light? What? What? So, we're kind of in a fairly light unit intensive loadout, and I mean, uh, meta here? Or at least that's what some players would have you think. And no light units for either of these players. So this is going to be an, uh, a long, um, well, I don't know. Buku actually did say that this wasn't a super long game, but... It's it's just going to be the tank trenches, I get I'm assuming. Judging based on the loadouts. Although no artillery for Attila early game and no artillery at all for RFI, so yeah. Kind of interesting. Tanks, but no artillery. RFI almost yeah, RFI going down there to Attila. And Attila's actually built two Teslas. Where do you put where they put those? Right by the fort? Yeah. RFI respawning. Not really lost a whole lot from that. Although they Yeah. Um th whoa. They barely saved that tank? But they did save it. Getting out a patcher, that's their only patcher. I can't remember if they had others and they just got killed or if they haven't had others. Um, so RFIs managed to defend their position, and they are, <sighs> they are a bit ahead, although a bunch of that is due to the mines, and what is up with me and yawning? Um, it is more even now. Both of them have heavy mines down, so, interesting. Um, RFI's the only one with Buster. And hmm, and the turtle is out. The this is a unit in Aramic. It is called the turtle. Uh, the turtle is actually a horrible, horrible choice for setting off heavy mines because the turtle isn't about HP. It's about armor, and it only gains that armor about a second after it's been dropped. So you don't want to use it to disable these mines. What was Attila just doing with that box? That's kind of weird. <gasps> the RFI pushing directly on, but oh, there's uh, two heavily damaged long points and a seeker doing the same. Um, okay. Uh, RFI should have a lot of success, and Attila just went down. So, oh, but so did RFI. The other thing. It's alive. Oh, there's that longhorn is still alive, but damage going down much more, much faster over he here on Attila's fort. Attila might be able to defend against this still. It's it's going to be much much closer than Attila wants it to be. And even after that, they've they've been reduced to like 10% fort health to RFI's 80%, and they have they do have more upkeep now. But it's it's not a huge amount, and there's box credit boxes that RFI could easily grab. Although Attila snagged, yeah, snagged one of them. This mines from Orify did exactly what they were supposed to do, because that was a much larger push coming that came in from Attila, and it didn't do a thing. That last oh, all the mines are going to go down. However, they're. Um, 
they're just they've just been sat there. Okay. Whoa, that uh that was what is called shoddy camera work. <laughs> um Hmm. So now we're I don't even know what's going on. RFI is setting up some more tanks. That Longhorn's firing in. Uh, Tesla coming out from RFI. Upkeep is even out. Uh, no, it's it's not even out. Attila has much higher upkeep, especially because four of RFIs is in mines. So this is really an 1833 upkeep difference right now. And that's huge. Attila's got twice as many tanks and twice as many Tesla towers as RFI. Along with a roller, both players only have one seeker, not a whole lot of anti-air. The roller is out and if I were if I Do some hero osprey. Attila grabbing another box. This is what's allowing them to to stay ahead in the upkeep because they can just they're they're the only ones grabbing these boxes. They're the only ones selling them, and each box is one tank. And you might think that's not a whole lot, but when you're these boxes spawn two at a time, and Attila's grab like three waves of them, so that translates to six extra tanks. And six extra tanks is 50% more than our than our fight has, and that also corresponds to Attila's advantage in tanks over our fight right now. So that's not even looking at these rollers, which are uh, another big part of what Attila has been putting their money on. Our fight almost going down here, pushing forward, but you don't push against the roller. Roller push against you. Unless you are in Soviet Russia, you do not push against a roller. That, that's that's not how it works. Yeah. Um. No healing units at, at all out from Attila. But the Heal Nova is going to heal these tanks into um, fighting fitness. This outpost is definitively Attila's, but RFI going with another drop. However, it's going to get shut down, and there's no light units. In this situation, what you want to do is you just want to grab like four rebels, drop them here, or even Vulcans. In fact, Vulcans might work amazingly because, well, now there's some Seekers, but before there were no Seekers, so they could just keep pouring in the fire. It, you, you want... For fort drops, when they're this heavily defended, you just want to get the instant damage. You don't want, you don't want survivability because they're going to die before they can get more than two seconds of shots off anyway. So what you want to do is make sure that they can get the most damage off in that two seconds. And light units, the rebels, the tangos, more the rebels than the tangos. The rebels, if you drop four rebels right here, they that fortress could be dead because of all that damage. Attila putting two Longhorns here. I'm not at RFI. Attila not seeing that, I don't think. They've got a 20, I mean, not a, a 50 upkeep advantage, and a bunch of Attila's upkeep is in tanks. They've deployed the rollers, so all of these tanks are just going to die. I mean, all these, all these mines are going to vanish. RFI's only chance is to hurry up with the fort drops, Preoccupy, um, preoccupy Attila. Attila setting down this roller. RFI has no choice but to just keep coming out with more tank drops and. Oh, Goliath, where is RFI? Oh, they're down here and they've dropped a Goliath and that could be game. I think that's going to be game. I think that's going to be game. 
No! Oh my! This is so close! I think a single Longhorn shot might finish it off. A single goalie shot definitely will. But oh, RFI's Fortress is getting pounded here, and that's game! So, great game here, sent in by Makuo. Thank you, Makuo, for sending that in. Fantastic game. Really close. Didn't really s seem like it, but yeah. Good ending. Um, so yeah, thank you, this has been Stuart98, I'm going to be putting a link in the description to where you should send your own replays in, to, you can send in your games from yourself, or you can just click your comm tower and go to this watch tab over here, and you'll see them, so yeah, do that, and, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, thanks for watching. Like, favorite, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. This has been Stuart98 signing off. Thank you.